In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the technical preview for Virtual Machine Manager to configure storage calls for Hyper-V. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my Virtual Machine Management console. And you'll see here that I have Virtual Machine Manager config, uh, configured to manage a scale-out file server with a few shares. But you'll notice there's something new here. It has something called storage cost policies. So this is the new way to define a policy with minimum and maximum IOPS. And if I click on the properties here, you're going to see that I define the name. I define a minimum and maximum IOPS, and also a policy type, meaning if this, uh, I, these IOPS are going to be shared by the multiple VMs, or if each VM gets this amount, and the scope, which is which file server it gets applied to. Now, once that's defined, I can go ahead and switch to VMs and services, where I can see all my VMs. And if I, I click here in one of the VMs and click on Properties, I can look at the individual properties for the VM. And under Hardware Configuration, uh, you look here, I have a virtual uh, hard disk stored here in the file share that I, I was using before. And you see here in the advance that I have the way to define the storage cost policy. In this case, I'm using the silver VM policy. Uh, one interesting thing is uh, if you were using an older version of Windows Server, if using 2012 R2, you can also create the old style uh, IOPS limit configuration. So in this other VM here, uh, you see that I have a hard drive. And under advanced, I have configured just the maximum IOPS. So that is the old way in 2012R2 to configure this, which doesn't use policies. So again, in Virtual Machine Manager, in the technical preview, you'll be able to create clause policies in your scale-out file server and apply them to your VMs.